welcome to math tips and solutions today we will do question number 5 onwards so let's see how to draw 60 degree angle with ruler and compass first draw a line mark a point P on it now with P as center take any convenient radius and draw an arc such that the two points of the arc cut on the line now let this point be O now without changing the radius with O as center draw an arc such that it should cut through P like this but draw a small arc like this Mark this point as Q. Now join P and Q. Therefore, angle Q, P, O equals 60 degree. This angle is 60 degree. Next, we have to draw 30 degree. 30 degree means half of 60. 60 degrees 2 times 30 degree so we have to construct first 60 and we have to draw the bisector of 60 degree so first draw a line mark a point a let it be a with a as center draw an arc the two ends should cut on the line. Let it be B. Now with B as center, first we are going to construct 60 degree. Then we are going to construct the bisector of it. This is the 60. 60 degree angle. If we join this point A and C, we will get 60. Now how we will construct the bisector? With B as center, take a radius more than half of arc BC and draw an arc. With C as center, with same radius, draw another arc. Now, let this point be D. Join A and D. This is 30 degree. Angle D A B equals 30 degree. First you construct 60 degree and then construct the bisector of it. This is 60 degree. So I am joining with the dotted lines. This is 60 degree and this is our 30 degree angle. Like this. Next let's see how to construct 90 degree. So for doing this first we construct 60 then 120 then 90 see here you can see 60 is here 120 is here and 90 is coming in between 60 and 120 we know how to construct 60 and 120 is the double of 60 so i will show you how to draw this you can draw a ray Mark a point A with A as center. Take any convenient radius and draw an arc. Sorry. Mark this point as B. Now with B as center, without changing the radius, draw an arc like this. Let it be C. This is 60 degree. If you draw like this, this is 60. Now again, don't change the compass radius. Draw another arc. With C as center, draw another arc like this. Let it be D. Now we are going to, this is our 60 degree angle and this is 120 degree angle. Now for constructing 90 degree, 
no need to change the compass radius the same radius with C as center draw an arc and with D as center draw another arc the two arcs should intersect at each other mark it as E join A and E we get our required angle angle E A B equals 90 degree next 120 degree what we did in 90 degree same like that only first we have to draw 60 degree then 120 degree because 60 plus 60 is 120 degree so we are going to draw it twice you can draw a line or a ray mark a point P on it with P as center take a convenient radius and draw an arc mark this point as Q without changing the compass radius with Q as center draw an arc now this point is if we join P and this point we get 60 degree now with this point as center draw another arc now we get 120 degree name it as r join p and r so we get angle r p q equals 120 degree now 45 degree here 45 degree first we draw 90 degree and then we will draw the bisector of 90 so that we will get 45 degree bisector means 90 90 degree angle will divide it into two equal parts so 45 is the half of 90 degree for doing that first we will draw 60 degree 120 degree then 90 degree because 90 degree is lying between 60 and 120 that we already did in question number c so same like that I draw a 90 degree angle first draw a ray then with mark a point a with a as center take a convenient radius and draw an arc mark this point as B with B as center draw an arc with the same radius this is 60 degree and this is with this point as center draw another arc this is 120 degree now how to draw 90 here no need to change the compass radius with this point as center draw one arc and with this point as center draw another arc so the two arcs should intersect at the point c now join this a and c you will get 90 degree now we are going to draw the bisector of this angle then we will get 45 degree so first with b as center take a radius more than arc you should name this D this point is D with B as center take a radius more than half of BD and draw an arc now with D as center without changing the compass radius draw another arc let the meeting point be E join A and E this is our required angle 45 degree is 45 degree you can check with your protractor see start from here the ray AE is passing through 45 therefore angle EAB is 45 degree next is 135 degree so we know we know to draw 60 120 90 and 45 so 135 we can write like this 90 degree plus 45 degree see 135 will come here this point 135 so first you have to draw 90 degree angle 
so draw a line mark a point a with a as center take convenient radius draw an arc on the line let this point be b first we are going to construct 90 degrees so with b as center draw one arc with the same radius don't change the radius say 60 degree with this point as center draw one more arc this is 120 degree now with this as center draw an arc with this point as center draw another arc now we get our 90 degree this is 90 degree Now we have to draw 45 degree. 45 degree when we construct 45 degree we will get 90 plus 45 as 135 degree. Let this point be C and this be D. We are going to construct the bisector of 90 degree. 130, 135 is coming to this side so we are constructing to this side to the left side with C as center radius greater than half of CD draw an arc with D as center draw another arc let this point be E join A and D Now, angle EAB equals 135 degree. This angle is 135 degree. You can measure using your protractor. See, like this, starting from here, and the ray AE is passing through 135 degree. 